first signings we had when we moved to USL Championship. Where's, where's the number 10 for us? Attacking midfielder, uh, former All League player with Reno. Um, been around the league for what? Played this league six, seven six, years? Seven years. Seven yeah. years. Uh, drafted by the MLS. Same as the Earthquakes before that as well. So, John, you far away. Yeah, Lindo, year three at the team, just like with uh, the people that followed you up here. Talk about your perspective of watching this organization grow. I mean, I've seen it for the past three years, and I've already seen the progress and, and how we're doing already uh, on the pitch and like even outside in the community. And it's going forward, like everything is just lining up perfectly. We're progressing as a team, and uh, I think they're progressing as a staff as well. So, like, we all growing together. So, um, Jordan spoke about how you know you're hugely important in every big game that this team has played. But you know, you've you've had some struggles staying on the field. Can you talk about you know your outlook this year, and you know how do you hope to stay on longer? Well, basically, I mean, for the people that doesn't know, I get hurt a lot. I'm prone to injuries, but um, for this year and last and summer last year, I changed the way I eat. I changed the way I drink stuff and. And all that, now I'm on a different program uh, that I do even like before training. Uh, after training, I'm doing something so I can stay healthy for the season. Uh, other than my nose, it's preseason, but I've been, it's, been, it's been good for a can month. You, can you put so, that behind the curtain, like what, what that is? Yeah. Uh, my nose? No, the, uh, your new program. Oh, okay, yeah, I got prehab for my ankles, and then I also got prehab for my uh, hamstring because those are the things that really bothers me a lot. They keep me out. Um, and last year, it was my ankle, so... But now I'm, I'm in the program, and I think it's working, and I'm feeling good every single time. So hopefully this year I stay, uh, I stay for the mess, uh, most of the games. I'll be on, uh, on the pitch. I hope so. I want to. You finish the season. Oh, oh Um, well, the young guys came in and then they were ready to compete right away. So it was easy because we kind of got close on the pitch. And it's usually easy when we get close out there. And then here it's just basically we just touch up. Hey, this is what you need to do more since you're young. And so you can stay on the pitch even longer. And then they're asking me questions about you always hurt. And what's going on with that? Like, I, I tell them the truth. I don't eat well. I didn't eat well. I didn't drink the right things. I didn't rest the way I was supposed to. So if I tell them at 20 years old, it's 19 or whatever. They change that right now. That might change the uh, the next 10 years instead of me probably changing my next five or 10 or eight, like anything like that. So I would say, like with the guys on the field, um, it's just easier with them because they can play and they want to play and they also want to learn, which is easier. It just it just works both ways. You just lost your thought. Food and drink. What were you eating before, and what are you eating more when that's talking? Well. I'm gonna start with the eating. Uh, the first, the eating, eat out every single time. I don't, I don't cook. I didn't know how to cook, so I just go and grab whatever after practice and eat. But now they have food for us over there, and for dinner I usually he, Jojo cooks for me usually most of the time. I go to their place, <laughs> wait to put him in a spot. But yeah, he cooks for me, and I stay with this food and his food. He eat healthy, so I'm really on that. And I drink, I drink a lot of water. Uh, none of the uh, extra stuff that I usually uh, I used to do back back in the day. Just on the back of that, is it being a pro sort of player? What's the hardest part? The on field stuff, like the actual game, the playing, the training, or the stuff that goes on outside? Uh, for me, I would say the outside stuff that happens uh, um, uh, off the field and off the building here, because here I'm only here for, for less than four hours a day, and I got all this entire time to my hands and to just do whatever I want, really. You know, so with that amount of time in, in Oakland, in San Francisco, like San Jose, all this stuff's around, they, they can kind of get to you, you know. But as I'm growing up and I'm getting older, it's, it's getting easier, yeah, to maneuver around it. You just got to win the championship. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you, you ended, you know, battled through injuries last season, but you ended healthy and on a really good run. How reassuring was that for you to step right back into the starting lineup, right back into your leadership role and contributing? How easy it was? Uh, how, 
you know, reflect on that? How was that feeling? How reassuring was it for you? I mean, like, the way I finished last year, I mean, I think because I changed the way I was doing uh, things and prehab and all that stuff and, and, and the whole diet thing. So I feel like the way I finished the year, that's how I want to start the year this year. So I came in like that. I came in, I did the same thing that I was doing uh, at the end of the year last year. So I'm just continuing that and then trying to see if, uh, if we hold up. You guys, go ahead. Have you found that, you know, this year you got a new coach? How's it been so far with Noah and Charge? Have you liked it or how's it been? And also, like, you know, what's the vibe been so far? Well, Noah's been here for a while, so. What have been in charge? Yeah, uh, when it was a sent with uh, Juan and then when Juan left took over, um, I think it's been great. Since then, um, I feel like he worked both ways with the football, he coaches us. How to go forward, also coach defensively. So he said, mix y'all both where it was different with the other coach. Um, you know, we do one one or the other. But um, but I mean, Noah came in, and then the whole the whole team, the whole vibe, just different because they 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 uh, everyone was leaning towards uh, the playing style. They loved it. Everyone want to keep the ball. Everyone want to play. So I think all that that connected them some more towards Noah style and the whole coaching staff with them. And when they came in, we just fell in love with the system and the way we play. You've seen uh, the team run up against the, you know, the eventual champions twice in the playoffs. Uh, you know, in terms of just like footballing parts, what do you think is needed from this group to get over that hump? Um, over San Antonio? Like, whether it be San Antonio or Orange County, like you guys have you know, fallen just short behind you know, eventual championship. Well, they talking about championship. Yeah. Oh, I mean, San Antonio has been around, I don't know, 10 plus years. I don't know how long. All um, Orange County, they've all been around. But us, we just started this, you know, and we where we are right now, it, it's great, honestly. We made playoffs all throughout since we've been in this league. So I feel like we're just taking, like, <clears throat> big steps forward instead of, like, Going steady and stuff like that. I feel like we're in the, we're in the right, um, in the right track. You got a lot of new players around you in the attack. You know, Anwar, Trayvon, uh, even in the midfield. What do you think? What do you want to identify first with this team? You know, it's a, it's a process building together, right? What do you want to see from this attack? What it, What are some things you have in mind in, in building wise? Well, I mean, since we we brought in a lot of good players, they brought in a lot of good players. So, on the field, it's usually easier when you're playing with good players. Like you just see chemistry just flowing. Like you just start playing the balls and stuff like that. It, it, I can't really put it in the words and tell you this is what we're gonna do, but it just comes out as you play. The longer you play with 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 Cozy, you won't feel it. Now, nah, well, it doesn't matter who it is. If they're good enough and they're out there on the field, it's usually easy to just play like that. Like as long as we're we're all together. Um, I mean, he wants to play uh, different uh, formations, so it really would depend on that, what he goes with. He want to go with three in the back, usually I'm on the right, when he goes with three in the back, so that's what my role going to be. Uh, he's playing on, uh, as a winger, basically, but more tucked in. Uh, so, yeah, that's really where I want to play. But if he changes to a four in the back, then I want to play the, the, the ten, usually, or like the fours, nine-looking uh, thing. But, yeah, same same role, basically. Do you, do you like playing that fours, nine? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> 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 Can y'all leave? <laughs> Cooking ability. What's the best dish that? Uh, my man's right here. He made me a salad uh, two days ago. He put carrots, beets, um, guac, uh, no, avocado, cucumbers. I don't know. He, he, he put in a lot of stuff. He put in a lot of stuff. He put in a lot of stuff in a big plate. I couldn't even finish. I ate half of it. He told me this is this is uh, the best meal in uh, 
in Cameroon. So I, I love it. 